Some fat lady acting like Martha Washington. You have a fat ass? She did have a fat ass, but it was, in, it was in one Washington of those dresses, though. Fat ass, dude. The Wild Wild West. Yes. Hell yeah, dude. We're here with Colum. What's up? Colum. Bro, how's it going, man? Yeah, Colum. Yeah. <laughs> ah, <me> Colum <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry for my co-host. Sorry. Just done a dude. Just done doing an impression of me now for sorry. An hour. Very yeah, offensive. definitely. Very Fair offensive. Enough. If there's yeah. dead air, I'm just going. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Ah, we go? Sorry, <laughs> That's all Does that piss you off when people mm -hmm. do that? It can do, yeah. Really? Why? Well, it's, no, it's just sometimes it's just like, I know, I get it. But, oh, yeah. but I, don't, I don't hate on their fun because yeah. it's like if I was Indian, I'd be doing the same thing, you know? If an Indian was beside me, I'd be... All, all up in their face. Well, that's yeah. you're. That's the thing. You're like the only one we can do this to. I yeah, I know. You know, <laughs> I know. if you were Indian, I wouldn't be sitting here like, oh, don't go burp. I would be. I'd be just shaking my head and yeah, shit. Yeah, I wonder. Are you guys allowed to do that in Ireland? Shake the head. Yeah, make fun of me. Yeah, in Ireland, you can do yeah. whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Ireland. It's, it's tough now because we didn't have immigrants forever, so we were all just like, yeah, we love black people and stuff like that, and then we just let a load of them in, and now there's a lot of race wars going on. So it's like for years it was like. <laughs> For years we were like, nah, there's no racism here. It's like, there's no one to be racist against. Yeah. And now it turns out, yeah, we've got some. You guys are capable of it. We've got some underlining problems, I guess. Which the guys, <laughs> the guys who, the guys who came over should have told you guys. You yeah. know, all the Irish people that came to America should yeah, have written came, back yeah. like, oh, we're very capable of it. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe the, the, yeah, what, what, the, the where streets are, you guys are paved with racism. From? Where are you getting immigrants from? <laughs> um, It's like New Jersey. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> A lot of Mexicans come over. Really? No. no. I was about to say, dude. That, that, that's a bad. That's, that'd be wild. That's the battle royale. If the lads and the Irish linked up, they're they're linked, dude. <sighs> Genetically speaking, I really think, dude. If well, we were talking about the mythology mm, in the, in yeah. the Mayan tale, there is a uh, Cahulan or whatever. There is a Cahulan in Maya or oh, in sure. like, in the Mayans. So I think they're the same people. Yeah. I think Mexicans and Irish people are What's the fair. same. They're, they're very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Just sort of working, drinking. Yep. Making loving making, God. Just love like Catholicism. Farts, love fart jokes and stuff. Farts. Yeah. <laughs> Farted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, dude, if Ireland got a wave of Mexicans, dude, if, yeah. It would become the greatest nation on earth. They would get so hammered. True. It'd be a lot of fights. Dude. They're the two most fightingest people. Yeah. Dude. A lot of stabs. Do Spanish fight a lot? What's that? Like Mexicans? Do they fight a lot? Yeah, dude. I didn't do know the that. Spanish? Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, or do you mean the Mexicans? I'm talking about the same people here. Oh, okay. Uh, what, did you, you mean Europe? I thought you people? were asking about Spain. They were yeah, talking no. about Mexicans. Okay. Mexicans love to fight. Do they? If you go, wow. it's, if I remember reading a book because I was I was going to go to Mexico, and uh, it was like a tourist book, and they were saying like, fist fights are very common. Down, fist fights are like whatever. <laughs> mm. Stabbings when people are like, whoa, 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 break it up. It's like a yeah. fist fight. It's like whatever, but yeah, someone yeah, busts you, out. You if, you, if you're really pissed, you'll bust out a knife. But yeah, guy told me that exact same thing in Spain. Really? Yeah, like verbatim. About Mexico like, or yeah, Spain? About Spain. Like they'll fight and then you will, someone will stab if they're dishonored enough. <laughs> yeah. It's usually like a, you're allowed to like slap for some reason. Yeah. Oh, Are you allowed slapping to slap is in Spain? like yeah. slapping is like a common like mm. way to settle a dispute. If you go close fist, that's considered like you're trying to fight and you're allowed to stab now. Wait, are you allowed to physically slap in Spain? I think so. You have a license to slap? Yes. Damn. Backhand <laughs> or forehand? <laughs> well, it depends. It depends what the offense was. I could, I Questioning, honestly, like my honor, just a slapping, just to settle it real quick. That's yeah, a, that's a slapping, right? No, there. that's a back. Oh yeah, but if it's perhaps mocking one of my lovers, yeah, how just, dare you? <laughs> yeah, I would honestly believe if someone told me Spain allows slapping, I'd be like, I, I believe that. Yeah, most likely. I think they can. Yeah, we got to bring that. We need to allow slaps, dude. Slapping is genuinely, it's pretty harmless. It's just kind of like a. Like it's a, it's like a rattlesnake, dude. It's like yeah. it's a little rattle on the tail. Like I'll fucking slap you right across the face. <laughs> if you want to slap me back, you can try. I told you I slapped my friend. Why did you slap your friend? He punched me in the dick, and I slapped him as hard as I could, and it was like a hard like yeah, 
came to, it buckled him. Wait, he he, his knees, he like went down. Did he like he was Johnny Cage? Out. He was just blacked out. Did he do a split and punch you in the dick? No, he, he did not Johnny Cage. He was like <laughs> hammering. He saw me. Doing <laughs> what? But it, was out, it wasn't like fun. It was like almost out of aggression. Wow. What the fuck, and I dude? slapped him and he's like, <laughs> he was hammered. <laughs> he got hammered. And then the, everybody held him back after he tried to assault me. But you were, we were in your legal leaving. right. I was you leaving. Were, you were defending yeah. your penis. Yeah. You were within your I was absolutely. Right. That's one of the Spanish rules. <laughs> defend the, the, your penis at all costs. That's how all duel <laughs> started. That's, That's how all duel, duel started. How do the Irish feel about the Spanish? Um, we like their country. We don't necessarily like them. Why not? I like them. I, you do? Yeah, yeah, I like them. I think maybe because you could speak Spanish. Oh, you don't like them because different language. Because they don't speak That's English. That's just yeah. it. That's their, their fucking, <laughs> you get with it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, right you better learn. Not even my language. You better learn, learn English. The, yeah. It's funny you're saying I, there's no like problem with racism in Ireland. I was doing an open mic at Fergie's, and there, remember that were you there that night? There was a the Irish couple. Yeah, I believe so. So the one guy came over and was just like, I, I was talking to Sidney Gant, and he walked over. And he's like, "Watch out, that guy will steal your shoes." <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, he heard about it. He heard about that guy all will the... steal your shoes. That's nice. I feel like I it like, got oh, like yeah. almost less hurtful because he added your shoes. He, if he had just said that guy's on a steal, you're like, come on, dude. But he's like, your shoes? You're like, that's what you... It's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of a jolly he's way not, to bring He's it. not taking True. anything else, just take shoes. your sneakers off. Yeah, like a mythical villain. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Like a, a reverse Saint Nick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> so, so, you, so Ireland's pretty racist. They're, they're not liking the immigrants. I don't... I, think, I don't know. I, I, to be fair, I think in any country, there's a bunch of people who don't like immigrants. Mm. Yeah. It's something you're born... I think it's, it's like a thing you... It's like when dudes from a different school come to your party. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's instinctive. It's <laughs> it's in there, no matter yeah. what. If you're yeah. somewhere and someone else shows up, you're like, get the fuck out of here. I'm telling you, I think it's I think it's just a personality thing. I think there's just a personality type who just goes, "There's huh? Do we know them?" And I'm like, "Yeah, oh, from another." It's like, get them the fuck out of here. I, I swear yeah. to God, I think it's just a. Per I floated this at Bryn Mawr. I was like, I, I think it's more just a personality issue. And they're like, "You can't let that off the hook." This is no. like, <laughs> some people just don't like people that you yeah. know. It's a type C personality. Yeah, they don't know what they're up to, and they go, where, where are you guys coming from? And then they read yeah. the news, and it's like, all of them are rapists. And you're like, I fucking knew it. I knew I had rapists. a fucking hunch. <laughs> yeah. I had a fucking hunch. Well, they're probably they coming. Call it. Yeah, call they're coming it. from Africa. They're from Africa, yeah. Yeah. Straight from. Like from, like, Muslim Africa, or from, like... I don't know. I honestly don't know. Gotcha. Never, never even taught about asking. Never you should even, ask. Never you, guys don't, you guys don't even ask them. Like, hey, no. Excuse well, they, me, sir, are from, you a Muslim? <laughs> well, they're all... No, they're all in my neighborhood, if the, if there was any black... And you're from I'm Dublin? From, I'm from Dublin. But when I grown up, all the black people moved like much more north. So we didn't really have a lot of them. We had like... Their name would be like Black Adam. Like there was a guy... Oh, in, in, we in had my, that. We have that. In my neighborhood, it would just be called like Black Adam. I or, thought you were or, saying his actual last name. I was like, damn. <laughs> Nice, <laughs> Mr. Black Adam. Yeah, <laughs> Black Adams. Is that the one where he goes in, does minstrel shows for sick kids? I don't know. All right, never mind. It's amazing. Yeah. Patch it's Adams. Culture, it's a culture reference. Oh, a I know. Patch oh, nice. Adams reference. Oh, uh, no. Uh, here we go now. <laughs> Cooking. Yeah, I had a good. I had a good racist encounter this week. What nice. happened? Uh, so I was down visiting a lover in the nation's capital, mm -hmm. and she had to work during the day. So I went. I went to Mount Vernon. You may have heard of George Washington. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to his I went to his plantation. Okay, nice. Check it out. I, and uh I like this guy. Needless to say, they're pretty heavily focused on the negative aspects of George Washington's oh, so career. Like, they're not focusing on the hemp, all the fucking weed he grew, dude. True. Or his brewery. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're not really focused on Damn, that. Damn, dude, that's going to ruin it for me when I think about the founding fathers smoking weed now. I'm like, oh, they had slaves pick all their weed. They definitely did. I was vibing on them now. I'm like, somebody had. <laughs> it's a chill. That's a chill plantation. It is. Man. In terms of plantations, dude, what are you growing? George Washington? Hemp. Like, damn. Yeah. Just fucking fat ass CBD. Just big buds of CBD. Also, yeah. uh, disclaimer. Remember I told you I, I took CBD the other day and like like it was so high I forgot my mask in Whole Foods? Yeah, it was weed. Caught a bad batch. Yeah, that was <laughs> not CBD. Yeah, it was definitely weed. Yeah. That was weed. That, that was weed. Because I've had enough of it before, right? You you know, you feel it a little bit or whatever. Yeah. Caught a hot batch, bro. Someone's trying to take me out. The only experience I've had like that with CBD was that time you gave me a, a droplet thing. Mm-hmm. And I must have taken too much because my car got sideswiped. Yeah. And I literally, I walked out to it and I was like, 
well, that happens. <laughs> like I couldn't care. Like my car got destroyed. And I was like, all right. And got my car and drove it home without a, without a side mirror. Uh, anyway, I go, to, I go to Mount Vernon. And first off, no one goes to this fucking thing. It was like Monday That's at like disgrace. Monday at like 2 p.m. I'm just by myself. And then I signed up for the tour. Mm. Actually, it was the 2 p.m. tour. I remember. And uh, I just went in, and the tour was of the house, which, by the way, is like three fucking rooms. It sucked. Yeah. And you're not allowed to talk on the tour what? because of COVID. She was the lady who was giving me the tour. Was like, "Oh, and there, there's a restriction. We're not allowed to speak inside the house." The fuck? She's like, "All right, well, this will be a pointless tour." Yeah, you're not even uh, a tour guy. I mean, she's a. I guess it's a physical tour guy. Yeah, and it was just yeah. me and a family. We were the only ones on the tour. It was a mom. A dad and their two kids that were very young. And the mom was like, I haven't been here since I was 13. I wanted to show my family. And it was just me in this exact outfit. I haven't been home. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. should have yeah, chimed I'm... in with some friendly banter being like, you must have been a beautiful girl. True. Like, I'm sure you made a beautiful. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, I'm sure there's probably some comedians that would have really liked you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. but i'm we, joshing dude while we're standing out there we're waiting <laughs> fucking some fat lady acting like martha washington washington's wife what? comes up it's just a fat reenactor lady she have a fat ass she did have a fat ass but it was, I in, figured it was in one of those dresses though fat ass, dude. really hidden in one of those things like that those, go out uh, yeah cinderella stepsister yes. dresses it was a center stepsister that gave us like the, oh, Mr. Washington's not here today, but I will talk to <laughs> what? Literally, I had to sit there and be like. Why? Right. Where was G. Wash? The general was out. What? Yeah, the general was out. He's beating up the fucking British because <laughs> our country actually got that done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, your car bombs that killed a bunch of kids didn't get it done. That's not. We fought them like men. That's not where I'm from. That's, that's, a different, that's a very different part of Ireland. All right. I'm sorry. No worries. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I didn't mean but to that, dis disrespect you know, the raw. Listen, that war's not over. By the way, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. only just begun. I, yes, I don't know dude. what it about it. When people are like, they talk about blowing up England. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Of course, go yeah. for it. Yeah, get them. Get them. Everything them, I dude. hear about the IRA, I'm like, yes. Yeah. Whenever like yeah. bomb goes off in Yemen, I'm like, ah, and, like car bomb on England. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> just because you know they're up there, like, oh, blimey, <laughs> oh, oh, they're, they're fucking, not dude. civilized. Yeah, yeah. The English are bastards. Except, dude, uh, I'm a big fan of Rupert Sheldrake. He's an Englishman. Who's that? He's from the Midlands. Who's that mm -hmm. person? Uh, he's a he's a scientist. He's like one of the last true scientists. But he uh, he's just he's a scientist, dude. He fucking rules. He thinks the sun's conscious. So, he has some good proof. So he's he, wrong. He thinks the sun, what? He thinks so he's the sun a wrong is a, person. The sun is alive. He said the sun could be. He just wants to open the discussion, like like Teletubbies or something. This is just this a big is smile of, this right. is why they used to execute people. I, mean, I wish dude, the church was still as the powerful. Anime, yeah, it was actually like, right now. cut this it. guy's fucking head off, dude. I mean, crucifix right now. The, the whole this whole thing you guys have going on of like mechanistic materialism, it comes <laughs> oh, from God. all right. Ancient ancient how many religion. times did you repeat that on the drive over? Uh, I just listened He's to just like, I gotta remember that. I gotta remember that. I gotta no, I'm that. telling you, I as it was coming out, I was like, it was like a turd coming out. I'm like, yeah. Did I get the whole thing yeah. out? Yeah. Hit that 30 second <laughs> rewind on the audible. <laughs> but no, he said a lot. he was like, dude, I watched one of his talks. He's talking about the science delusion. He's not against science. But he was just saying a lot of it got hung up on dogma now, where he was like, a lot of their, um, a lot of the stuff they just kind of assume is based on just like old religious stuff of like yeah. the universe is infinite. Like, like these well, Waterloo cans could be. No, no, this has to be a self-organizing system. Okay. The sun is actually a self-organizing system. Yeah. Um, these, yeah, this, this would the not be. The water conscious. inside of it, though. Very possible, yes. Yeah. Very possible. He would, his idea, and he's like, I just want to talk about it, dude. He was like, you know, the whole, he, the, he was like coming up with all the main, uh, like, foundational beliefs of science of like, you know, energy's never created. He was like, looked into it. He's like, I don't know if that's true. Because they just added like 25 million percent of dark matter and dark energy out of nowhere. So he's like, well, what was, what was that? You know, so he, you know, he's it's pretty good. He was talking about the, uh, how the speed of light changed as well. He's like that changed like three or four times in physics all around the world. Different physicists came up with different speeds of light around the same time. And then it would settle back to another one. He asked the guy about it. And the guy was like, that was, uh, that's just a fluke. That's weird. I don't know if it would be a fluke. Wouldn't it just be miscalculations? No, because a bunch of people around the world got it. And then they'd be like, no, we're getting this now. And they're like, all right, we'll just change it. Oh, so they've okay, changed the, the thing for the speed of light a bunch of times. And then, you know at least several times and then the physicists are just like 
we don't think about that. Yeah. So, but he's all he wants to say is like, well, you know, maybe fucking matter is conscious. If we're made of matter and we're conscious, why, you know, maybe other stuff is too. So, maybe the sun's conscious, dude. Maybe each maybe. star is like a little cell. So, pretty cool. Yeah. I'm into that for but me. Cells aren't conscious. They, they comprise. The whole idea was like. I guess you'd have to define consciousness. That's, that would be, that's all he wants to do, dude. No, he said, you know, you know, you guys, double M's, can't, haven't done it yet. <laughs> all high and mighty. Oh, we don't have to like. Why'd you call us double M's? Mechanistic. Yeah. I knew, I, knew you were, I knew you were trying to skip that word again. <laughs> it's a good word. You deserve it. It's a good word. Person. I'd be fucking pumped to bring that to the table. Yeah. I had that bitch Martha Washington. <laughs> oh, that God, bad old ass, that, dude. That bitch. I was just, I was praying to Christ she didn't talk to me. Because she was Martha like, Wash? Yeah. Should have tried was, to kiss her, bro. It was so funny. You should have tried to kiss her. Yeah. She was like, oh, I had children <laughs> like these. You should treat that place like Westworld, dude. Just try to, <laughs> try to fuck her. <laughs> she, she literally was like, Talking to these kids, the family. She's like, I, I know all about this, having a two and four year old, how difficult that must be. My youngest, Danny, died of yellow fever when he was dead. I was sitting there like, oh shit. <laughs> you Damn. know, George Washington didn't have any kids? What? He was a fucking stepdaddy. He was a new dad? He was a, yeah. New dad. Oh, I found a lot of uh, like heartbreaking facts about, we'll get to him. He probably beat the fuck out of that lady. He probably killed two of them. Yeah. General? The general? He probably yeah. came in and was like, dude, she's like, our dad's the president now. And he probably yeah. beat the fuck out of him. Our dad invented a country and made up a title. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's nuts. <laughs> uh, fuck, I didn't know he was They probably thought he was like lying. He'd be like, I just got back from beating the world's biggest empire in war. This is our country now. They're like, our stepdad is fucking nuts. He's lying to us. They didn't know anything, dude. He probably gave them like a piece of candy and they were like, yeah, they had sweet treats. Did they? I showed you the sweet treat factory in there. Oh, I did see that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Uh, so Martha leaves us alone. Thank fucking God, dude. Mm. It, when just standing and watching a reenactor, thank God I wasn't like high or did anything. She, it was enough. It was off-putting enough. Did just, she have like a nice excuse as to why she had to go? I have to go yeah, to the she mill made up now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I have to do some mill she really work. Did. She was like, I must tend to the garden. You know, the general yeah. loves his garden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should have studied up. I want to. I want to study. Did. You fuck with them. It's great. You yeah. got to ask them facts. I was like, "What color was his hair?" And she was like, "Whoa!" You got to like hit him with like, "What's she's his like, voice like?" She's looking at her phone. Yeah. Or something. She's like, <laughs> well, I asked the tour guide a couple questions that she was like, "That's a good question." And all the things are on the website. It's like you didn't even talk during the tour, and you're zero for one on questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was another one, dude. It was a fucking dark tour. She was like, you hear those cows? Because they, they got the exact cows they used to have and the sheep they used to have. Some type of fucking like red something. I forget what it was called. But they were uh, mooing. And she was like, you can hear them screaming over there. You can hear them. She's like, it was a sad day. Again, keep in mind, this is with a four-year-old. Mm. Like at the end of the tour, you sit on rocking chairs out back mm. that overlooks the mighty Potomac. Ooh. So it, that part ruled. That's awesome. George Washington has a sick back porch. But okay. you sit there. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking. I've this. never heard someone be like, all right, get, get through <laughs> no, this. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm getting this up. This is all for But well, we're sitting First in a rocking time, chair yeah. just sitting out back, and the, there's a tour guide standing. It's me, one chair, and then a family. And uh, the mom, the, the tour guide was like, those cows are mooing because they just gave birth today. And it was like, oh, nice. And she's like, and we sold the calves, so they're sad. <laughs> I was like, oh. Those aren't moves of joy. Yeah, and the lady was like, the mom was like, where did did they go to like a different museum? And the tour guy was like, no, we sold them. We don't know where they go. No, no, I was no, just no, like, no, no, what was the dad up to the whole time? He was quiet. Was he? He was on. This was definitely his his bitch's field trip. Was, was like, I right? went when I was in fifth grade. We should take the kids. Mm, yeah. it was a nightmare. I, I I'll never go back to Mount Vernon. Did you pout up with the dad at all? Be like, what's up, bro? Uh, we had, we had some silent nods in Did the you? house because the, they were in front of me <laughs> yeah. and I would have to just stand in the room until they wanted to move on. Yeah. So I just had to stand there until they're dumb. He was taking fucking pictures of like the wallpaper. Really? And I was kind of looking at him like, dude, fuck you, fucking, dude. <laughs> but you couldn't talk. So then they'd start walking. I'd be like, you know, that whole fucking, like, yeah. And just, uh, yeah. Like just acknowledge just over and over again. Like, and then I got in front of them somehow. Nice. So I had to like pole position. Yeah, I took pole position, and we went into a hall. No, I took the lead. 
Hell yeah, dude. But you should have started guiding the tour. I'm like, fuck this shit. This yeah. lady doesn't know a goddamn yeah, thing. Yeah. Didn't even know the color of his goddamn hair, dude. It was red. Yeah, George Washington had red corn. Fucking dude. ginger, dude. Guardian, ginger? don't fucking toss the hand up, you bum. <laughs> Guardian is a wop. I don't know if you could tell. Sean? Oh. True. Misleading name. Irish and Italian. Yeah. Yeah. What which do you rep which do you associate more? The Italians, baby. I'm a Guido at heart. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a that's a Would you let him into your country if you're mm -hmm. back at home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think, yeah. What about, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. What about that one? Hmm? That next you, you, that that one? Next you, uh, it, it's not as fast as him, but you can certainly, <laughs> I feel like you could get in. Yeah. Yeah. You would be, you would stand out in high school. In, I was there. I did stand out. You did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you went to Ireland, Noah? I've been to Ireland. Where'd you go? Yeah, I was in Dublin. Nice. I stayed on Camden Street. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was nice. Was Above a bookstore. I don't know that one. Yeah. I don't know. I <laughs> the don't only place I've store. never yeah. been. <laughs> all, of all the places in Dublin for me to not know. Yeah. Could be. Hell so yeah. here's, here's where this tale of my visit to Mount Vernon takes a harrowing turn. So I, I a lot of slave talk on this tour. Mm -hmm. So I want to check out where the slaves lived. You should have confronted them immediately about it. Like, where the like, please, please. They, it was one, they took us to the kitchen. George Washington's kitchen, which mm -hmm. had two slaves working at all times, same two, and they worked 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day. Damn. Just in a kitchen. 4 a.m. to 9 p.m.? Yes. Okay. I don't know how they got that. Well, I guess they have ledgers and shit. Uh, oh, yeah. They definitely knew. And that. then the lady was like, and this was their refrigerator, which was just like a hole in the ground. And then they were like, and this would be, this room, this room was basically like a modern day dishwasher. They would put their used mm -hmm. dishes, and it was just clearly just two slaves were in there. They're like, look at this dishwasher. Yeah. It's like, you mean those two humans <laughs> yeah. that washed your plates every day? Uh, but yeah, then I, I went out. I wanted to, the tour was over. Didn't say goodbye to either of them. Yeah. The family or the lady. I was just, uh, went, went about, I wanted to see the slave quarters. I wanted to see where they lived. Mm. Not great. Really? Not great. George didn't hook them up too well. But even... Even inside the mansion, it sucked. You need a, so first, you a like, first hand account. You need a first hand account of how bad it was. I did, yeah, I saw. You had the tweet ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I was. Yeah, I had the not that bad. Get up, fired just, up. Just, just get over it. Yeah. yeah. But you saw the quarters and they were cramped. I saw the cramped quarters and I knew. And you're like, maybe it might have been bad. Yeah, I'll yeah. give them an ounce. <laughs> <laughs> but there, here's where things took an ugly turn. Okay. A. A man approached from behind. I could hear the clacking of his shoes. I was by myself. I was on this totally yeah. isolated. No one's around. And uh, I, I, I hear, how are you doing there, sir? <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding, dude. It was, a, on a horse, it was a slave reenactor. Oh, nice. While I'm standing looking at these old shitty bunk beds, just like thinking to myself like, oh, this is terrible. This is so bad. And then this, this like 30-year-old <laughs> black dude from D.C. is behind me. And he's like, how you doing there, Massa? I was just like, oh, Massa. no. Dude. And I turn around. I was like, my name's Billy Ray. I've been part of the plantation here for this long. What if it was like a black couple looking through? Do you think he would be like, y'all better get out of here? True. <laughs> I mean, he kind of stayed in character. Y'all yeah, uh, the free folk? Fuck y'all doing wearing that. <laughs> Massa C.E. gonna whoop your ass for that. Yeah, yeah. Dude, he started to hit me. He hit me. That's I, crazy. Did I, you I, ask where they were? Or did you just excuse yourself and find them? Uh, the, it wasn't the biggest. Were you slave quarters? <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know, where are the slaves? The whole tour. They were like, shh, no talking in the house. I was like, where the fuck are the slaves? <laughs> Where'd you put them? So this guy was on his lunch break or something, and he saw you. Yeah, the fuck? Got a slave. Oh, I got a slave up. I went, oh, yeah, Mr. Mess. Oh. Yeah, dude. Oh, man, that's uncomfortable. What would happen if you had just said, what did you just say to me, boy? Yeah, and he I know, I know. You had to just double down on it and go, don't look at me. You eyeballing me. <laughs> yeah. Get back to work. You're quick convinced to be like, I'm actually George Washington. I'm it's my first day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kick his yeah, butt. yeah. <laughs> and you think they see each other and like, you know, when George is there, I can't believe first of all, I bought my money back. Like, what the you're telling me George Washington's not in his house? I'm here for the George you shouldn't like no offense, I didn't come here for to see Martha Washington. Yeah, I didn't house, come here to see lady. Martha and a fucking slave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Came here to see George, dude. Not even any relevant slave, just another. Just no, a, he was pretty relevant slave. Yeah, he was. He was yeah. a, come on, man. Yeah, dude, come on. It was. What? He was. He was a very relevant slave. <laughs> he was the slave. brother of George Washington's uh, assistant, 
George Washington just kept had a slave with him at all times. His, his right boy. hand. Yeah, his bro. Oh. They didn't want to say his boy. His bro. His bro. Okay. That's where the term bro comes from. Yeah, as George Washington. <laughs> they'd be like, who's this? And he'd be like, this is my... Is my bro. <laughs> I'm not going to call him that. He's my bro. <laughs> uh, so but he, yeah, he approached. Dude, guy hit me with a 10, 10 minute, ah. 10 minutes of just me standing back against this brick wall. <laughs> Literally, the slave quarters entrance was right next to me. He just stood there and just fucking hammered me. <laughs> hammered me. He's like, day up till, you know, sun up, sun down. We out here working. And it's tough having kids. They take our children. <laughs> like, all this shit. Oh, <laughs> I was go. just like, oh, my God, dude. And then finally, I was like, I got to. <laughs> my wife's pregnant. Yeah, I got to ask not, him a question. Mine. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a lot of that. You got to. Well, I had to ask him. He was like, and the general, the general sure does love us being tidy. He's up at 6 a.m. for breakfast, all that shit. And I was like, is the general nice? <laughs> Which immediately this guy was like, uh, he was a plantation owner. <laughs> oh, <you laughs> I was just like, oh, shit, dude. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. Was he a pretty character? No, he was, he was like, well, kind of for his answer. Wow. Because, yeah. you know, you'd imagine a slave back then, if a white man was like, is George Washington nice? He'd be like, oh, I love him. <laughs> yeah. But he was like, so. he's about, you know, I wouldn't use that word to describe any plantation owners. And I was just like, I yeah, dude, it. obviously. Oh, it's so funny. I'm not trying. That was your quest. You were like, I'd have to know if G. Wash was nice. That, well, I wasn't interested. <laughs> I, wanted, as, I wanted to hear it. As slave owners go. I should have like, said that. It's a tough qualifier, yeah. Yeah. But like I get the whole thing of selling your children, okay. But yeah, was he pleasant? Did he say good morning? That's all I want to know. That's all I want to fucking know. This guy just had like his hat off in his hand while he's talking to you. Uh, he had like a pilgrim hat. Oh, and like a a British military. He looked. I I hate to use the word, but you ever see like a lawn jockey? That's what those things are called. He was dressed like that. Yeah, he was dressed like a slave. Yeah, was he not like slave like a loose white blouse? That's yeah, right. I was that stuff. Kind of, no, like it was a slave like a toga jacket. Type thing. Okay, like a red jacket. He was buttoned up. Yeah, he was Samuel L. He was a house. He was a, yes, a he house was. slave. Don't even get close to it, dude. How dude. dare you? I'm listen. This is your history, not mine. All right, <laughs> all right. We were we were too busy. What? Just not owning anything. <laughs> not we didn't even own you that. You guys are busy losing to the British. Okay. All right, were you there? Did you fight? Nah. Well, you just said it was our history. Now you want to change the rules? Yeah, my squad yeah. my squad set sails. So they're like, this shit, this is fucking tap. Yeah, dude. we're like, we're done being fucking Yeah, pussies. the English, the English were like, you got to put your masks on Ireland. My squad was like, fuck that shit, yeah. dude. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm going to Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> Where shit's going to be sick immediately just killed by Indians. <laughs> uh but yeah, that's that was it. And then when I oh, well, then I went to the museum part of it, which is it was pretty cool. You walk through it and you hear how George, you hear about his life. He was like, how'd you say bye to the guy? Were you like, well, he, I, dude, I was trying so like, I mean, I gave him all the physical cues that I was done. Like, I was like, okay, like, Were you kind you. of like just like looking around, going like, you know, I, I was really, looking around. Dude, I know, was, I'm not gonna rat you out if you don't want to play this character right now, I dude. I've never, sure. and I, I was just looking at him, being like, this is like a 30 year old guy. Yeah, but then it, but if you were to be like, hey man, you don't have to do that, then it would be you would be uncomfortable. You yeah, know, you just confronting. gotta ride that. You gotta ride that storm. I just. I wonder there. if you showed up in costume, do you think you could breach the grounds and yes. just be a dif- different like character and be like, yes. I'm actually George Washington's cousin. You definitely could. Although the other reenactors would snuss you out, they, 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 they would <laughs> fucking suss you out. Really? Definitely. Awesome. They'd hit you with some questions. They'd be like, "What year what, did the manor <laughs> switch to stone walls?" You'd be like. 19. <laughs> 19. Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be so wow. funny. But, uh, or just laying there and be like, oh, yeah. ah. <laughs> who's that guy? Like, I actually don't I got know. the mumps. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, General Washington here? <laughs> I, s- I send my regards from Norfolk. <laughs> I got some slaves to sell. <laughs> just have an auction. <laughs> oh, that'd be horrible. That'd be pretty good. Yeah. Especially, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the museum, you just walk through and it's facts about him and shit like that. And you literally learn about how great he was the whole time. Mm. The whole museum is a hallway of how incredible this guy was, how fortitude and his, his moral character. And then at the end, they show you his teeth, his actual dentures. And then like you read it and it's like, these were slave teeth. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> it was like slave teeth and cow teeth. His yeah. like front teeth were like long cow teeth. 
Jesus. And then human teeth attached to it on a lead denture. So he was definitely just ingesting. He had lead poisoning for yeah. sure. <laughs> so George Washington was like a six foot three, definitely retarded man with yeah. slave slave teeth. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and the, every account of him was like he never said too much. He was a man of many yeah. or few words yeah. and He's just <laughs> them being like George, do you want to be president? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fine. I don't know anything about the guy other than he like crossed the Delaware or something. Yeah, that was him being a retarded general. Yeah, he crossed. He paid off. All his men were like, we're starving and freezing. And he's like, charge. Let's go. We got to kill him. Fuck yeah. Anyway, it made me laugh. Mm. Yeah. Though, Not that here, was, though. Didn't, the laughter didn't no, carry I, over. When I, I found out like they, that George Watt, like that time of like time frame, they would be like ripping teeth out of people to like pop them in their own head on the battlefield. That pumped me up. I was like, that's on brief. the battlefield. They used to rip. Yeah. The soldiers used to rip teeth out of people's head. If someone was dead, they would just go pop their teeth out and sell them. They'd have, a, they'd have, oh, they'd have a look and see if they have any good ones. Yeah, that was common back then. You either didn't, if you had any, if you had other people's teeth in your mouth, you were killing it. Mostly you would just be have like no teeth. Yeah. <laughs> that was like, people just be like, you know, like now like people get older, like, oh, you're fat and bald or whatever. Now it's like, you got your chompers. Yeah. It's like, dude, he's got that full fucking set of and teeth. And he used dude. to brush his teeth. He still lost them. Did he really? Yeah. What are you well, brushing What with? they brush? Probably yeah. like slaves' hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the brush was made out of somebody's tibia. So apparently, allegedly, my uh, <laughs> my pop up on my mom's side used to take soot out of the chimney and just rub it on his teeth. He claims that works. There's charcoal toothpaste. I don't know if that has. I think that's what it was. He, yeah, he's he's a, the original. I don't know if he was fucking with us, but he'd be like, "Yeah, I just get soot out of the chimney and scrub it on my teeth." Mm. It's like, "What's up?" I'm pretty sure he had like a toothbrush and shit, but he that's how he used to hold it. That's <laughs> how he held it down. He used to tell us, like, yeah, dude, I just rub that shit on my yeah, teeth. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Don't mind that Colgate shit. That's fucking Yeah, dude. Yeah, this is Colgate. Nice. I like it. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you learn a lot at Mount Vernon. Well, it's funny, people when they brush their teeth, uh a lot of people brush their teeth at a time that has nothing to do with actually cleaning their teeth. A lot of people brush their teeth as soon as they wake up. Which is it's like you know, you brush mm. your teeth when you yeah, wake up. Yeah, that's for your breath. It's what I'm saying. It's it's yeah. more of a flavor experience. You want to just change the flavor of your mouth, and you eat, you scarf down breakfast, and just be like, <laughs> oh, it tastes terrible. You just go out in the world. And you're like, <sighs> true. The point of brushing your teeth is to clean the food off them. Yeah, weird. among other things. Yeah, most people don't. I don't brush my teeth when I wake up. I know. I wake up. <laughs> I've been on the other side of that. Come on, dude. <laughs> what? Come on, you lying on me? You, I'm not. You. You. I've, everybody's had bad breath. I know. You're yeah. saying you caught me in the morning. You're like, damn, this guy didn't brush his teeth. Yeah, we've covered this like 10 times what? on the podcast. Did we really? Everyone, yeah. has, everyone has bad breath, though. Yeah, yeah you, you gotta, get morning breath. That's why you have to brush your teeth in the morning. Nah, dude. Morning I, breath is atrocious. I do my whole day, and then as soon as I'm ready to go somewhere after eating, and then I brush my teeth. I mean, I, what, yeah. if you, what if you like don't leave the house? I don't brush my fucking teeth. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm like in the same. I'm in then the I same go to bed. Until I'll catch myself like 1 p.m., I'll just go. Yeah. I'll yeah, two meals yes. down the hatch, and I'll go. I'm like that. It's, it's like, time to brush the chomps. Yeah. I brush my teeth at like 1 Two o'clock. Yeah, I, my afternoon. my teeth definitely started needing it once I started uh, drinking coffee constantly. Oh yeah. yeah. Before that, I, I never really got that whole. I mean, I'm sure my breath was atrocious, mm. but I, you're, I have never had coffee. any qualms about your breath. I'm not Thank being you. passive aggressive. I've just no, no, no. You've had I always bad saw breath. you had pleasant breath. Well, I brush my teeth in the morning. <laughs> I have morning breath is crazy. Your breath is never. That's why me I like once. can't have sex in the morning because I know how bad my breath is. Yeah, you just got to go in for the kiss. You just you just got it. It's a morning, just a full it. morning kiss, dude. Which is like, crazy because I don't mind the lady's breath ever, really. Yeah. I've never had hooked up with a lady with horrible breath. In the morning? Yeah. Nothing I couldn't get past. True. Of course. I've I've taken down some tough breath. Have you, <laughs> have you never had, you, have you ever had sex with someone? The body you have bad breath and you're like, all right, we know we have bad breath. Yeah. Let's, that's, let's, that's just, let's get this done. Head, acknowledged every morning. Head over the shoulder. Yeah. And yeah. We're going to do it from behind. Yeah. A special treat. Or mission, yeah, at missionary. That, at, no, at that much effort, you might as well just go to the bathroom and brush your teeth. <laughs> at, that, at that point I'm, I'm you're becoming, halfway there nearly. I'm becoming an awfully lazy lover dude. <laughs> really <laughs> yeah, oh yeah just an absolute decadent lover absolute dude. yeah just, I, I got like one position <laughs> in the bank that anymore really? oh yeah. dude I'm done dude yeah. I'm dude, done trying dude I, I'm telling you the best position is <laughs> woman on the bed you standing true that's the best that's a nice one but I'm tall so I gotta really fucking crunch yeah. It starts burning the thighs. Yeah, you true. You're I have dude, you're on the back of your legs. In my room, there's my bed, and then there's like a little wall that's the perfect distance that I can get like a starter block where I can, I can force my, I can basically like 
have the entire wall supporting me where I'm pushing off mm. the baseboard. Damn. Wow. See, I have like it's a the rug. Best. Yeah, dude. I have a tall bed. Actually, my bed in New York is perfect for it. Is but it I have really? a rug underneath it, so my feet are sliding. Do you have oh. socks on? I, I I tend to fuck in socks, yes. Kick your socks off. You need your I bare know, feet. Dude, my feet. Imagine this. You're on this table. You're on this table. You're on this table. I'm here. My feet are, see the feet on the baseboard? Just full thrust and it's constant. Wow. It's crazy. For those of you at home, his foot is like that against the baseboard. Wow. It's crazy. Dude. Like a sprinter. Like yeah. I'm about to take off. <laughs> like the, I you lock it in with the straps. I, the whole time and until I, I don't feel confident sexually until I get to my standing is foot it? on the baseboard, dude. I'd Until love- then, it's just foreplay. <laughs> also, my mattress in New York is terrible. It's one of those foam mattresses. Oh, you get no leverage. One of those that ones absorb cum. <laughs> it, it's literally it absorbs both of us in the bed. <laughs> really, and you, it's hard, it's tough to move. Really, it's like quicksand. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> now, meanwhile, you can fuck on the floor. True. That's good fucking. You ever have sex on the floor? Oh yeah. Oh, probably back home. That, that was. They, they were, they were, I don't know what that means. I was you say yeah. your country's poor. Okay, yeah. You have no beds. You say you're oh, poor. Yeah. You have no furniture. <laughs> <laughs> we I haven't think, any furniture. The British a, keep taking our couches. The English. <laughs> they not. No fucking on the bed. That's why the English <laughs> claim the they. You know that's the reason the English claim they went and like. You know, gave Ireland what for is because they they said everyone was like fucking everyone. Yeah, they walked through and like the cousins were like fucking each other, brothers and sisters, and the English were like, "This is fucking bullshit." Yeah, and eating them. Yeah, eat remember each the other. fucking dude. Yeah, what? It's been a, uh, I did a, the hardcore history thing, and it was like accounts through history of Ireland. Every single like at, like the Romans, everybody that's tried to go to Ireland has been like. These people are fucking savages. Dude. <laughs> leave them. No one would conquer Ireland because everyone was like, "This place sucks." Yeah, yeah. Like, don't yeah. even go. Yeah, there was a big thing. They were eating the, people. They were a, fucking their own moms. That a, was the big thing. There was a big thing with the Romans. Like, got to Ireland, they were like, "Let's just fucking who no. wants this shit? <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't even renovate this. Yeah. Fuck this." Yeah. Well, I think and we're all like, "Yeah." I, yeah, <laughs> we we just think dead ass. <laughs> yeah. I think Ooh, the Celts. Ah, oh, ah. Didn't the Celts <laughs> conquer Rome for like a week? I think huh? the Celts conquered Rome for like a week. Really? They, yeah, I think they they stormed the capital. I think they basically stormed the capital, put their feet up, and then eventually the Romans were like, "All right, let's get them the fuck out." Of here. I know. I, I I vaguely remember that hardcore history about that, where like the Celts were like considered stylish for yes. the Romans. Yeah. So they would like start dressing like Celts. Yep. Yeah. Well, well the Celts would apparently uh, like deck their swords. They would spend like all their time making sure they looked cool as fuck and then ride into battle. And that was it. That was the only plan. Like, dude, we're going to look cool as fuck. <laughs> look fucking sick, dude. Well, what they even look, they're just looking at like a, a they would like, they would like their weapons would have like these ornate fucking designs on. There was all these things they did to like swords. And yeah. They had work. like the color blue. <laughs> yeah. No like, everyone else was like, holy Whoa. shit. What's that? They're like the sky. We've got blue. Yeah. Their armor just looked cool as fuck. Yeah. And they would just like go in and just, <laughs> Crush people, and then uh, you know, then there were laughing. It's just so funny, just to, just putting together like color, color coordinate. Yeah. It, it was just, a, it was like a, you know, those got like my Lord sandals the, matching my armor here. You know, you know those like Lord of the Rings, just like ah, like two people going together. It was just mm. like a, a hundred thousand Conor McGregor dude just coming yeah. at you, like I'm the best. Yeah. Little like, dicky bows and shit. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, and then just a bunch of bunch of wops with shields, just like no, <laughs> <laughs> you get the back, you get the back from here. <laughs> <laughs> then a bunch of Irish people in the woods like <laughs> we're gonna get ya you would not to get us <laughs> you're not even jacked yeah it was just fucking that's funny I was imagining like Jersey Shore versus like just Irish people like, whoa yeah. whoa whoa yeah. it's oh. literally the Jersey Shore yeah it's a bunch of wops and Irish people, like yeah. drunk Irish guys coming out of like a oh. dark bar. <laughs> Damn, dude, the world was conquered by the Jersey Shore for like a while. Yeah, a long time. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty tight. It is pretty tight. What a sad. It was just gym tan and laundry throughout the world. Almost the whole world was almost gym tan laundry. Italy's never done <laughs> shit since then. Since. Well, they had the Renaissance, but yeah, yeah. It's just true. think of devolving that hard. From like Julius Caesar to the situation, yeah, well, dude, it was a long <laughs> timeline. Did you ever look into? I, I mean, it was like a thing that just got thrown to me on my YouTube algorithm. But the requirements for Roman soldiers, there was like someone did a video on like what they actually like were looking for, and they were saying the fall of Rome. And again, I don't know if this is a chicken or egg thing. Was very much aligned with when they started to kind of like let go of like gender their strict. No, I they, they, yeah, yeah, I, I just like, heard that. Really? They let yeah. chicks in and Well, I think they stopped letting I didn't get to that part, but they were just saying like they used to have like 
you know, they, they tried to find people. It's funny. <laughs> it's great. Think about here's, the, a, here's some women's history for you. Yeah. <laughs> here's women's history. True, it's, it yeah, they crumbled an empire. <laughs> they let women in the army? No. I don't know. So what do they let? What do they let them be like the president or something? What happened? No, I was saying I just was listening. I think it might have been on Rogies a while ago. Someone was talking about like civilizations tend to crumble when they all start focusing on shit like gender. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. <laughs> like once they get powerful enough for guys to be like, I'm actually a woman. Yeah. In come the Conor McGregor's out of the woods. Just yeah, like, we're gonna cut your fucking heads off. I think. Yeah, then there's <laughs> they have furniture. <laughs> well, you're you're thinking about like you're like what does a penis like floor, but... really mean? And yeah. some guys like there's food. Yeah. Get it. You're like, oh, stop. Yeah. Ah. You guys are being fucking uncool. We love you guys. Remember? We didn't want to put you in the fucking camp. We dress like you guys. <laughs> I've been stealing your culture. <laughs> but yeah, they were saying that they would, the Roman army would look for people in the country because they're like, the people in the country live off the land. They can go without food for a long period. Like they, they're already kind of halfway trained. Yeah. But with city folk, they would take you like super far away. So like that way you, you couldn't go back to where you wouldn't know the fuck you were. Yeah. And they would try to train them. And then they uh, they did a thing where, like, if you could read, that would, like, you would become, like, a legion or something. They, you'd be on the track to be, like, I think a legion was someone who... You know, Legionnaire. Like, like, 80 people or something. Um, and then they, they, they got greedy and they wanted more and more people. So they started being, like, you're good to get in. And they, they started, that was, like, towards started the Started letting the fats in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the fats were up front, like... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I forget the fucking... I couldn't remember. It was the one thing from that star party I went to that mm -hmm. I wanted to remember. <sighs> It was the guy was like, if you look at the moon and then whatever star was next to it, if you could see that, you passed the Roman military. Really? See, that was their seeing test, their eye test. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty sick. That's pretty tight. Yeah. Anyway. Fuck yeah. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, did you ever, uh, did you ever fuck with the wall of death? I mean, it's, it just reminds me when people are like rushing each other like that in a movie scene. Did you ever fuck with like, did you ever get into like studying mosh pits at all? Like two weeks ago, I was watching a bunch of them. Did you ever YouTube. see the wall of death? Uh, is that the outdoor? It's when they're out. They're outside. I think like different ba different bands. No, different bands do this. You just you, you're like separate everyone. Yeah, you're like hey, you get over there and you get yeah. over there, and they just fucking rush each other. Just, yes. Just <laughs> I don't know why people do this, but they go. Mm. It's like always a dusty, shitty field. It's just ten thousand Shaners. <laughs> ten thousand Ryan Shaners, and then like girls with thigh tattoos. Yep. <laughs> 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 Noah has a thigh tattoo. <laughs> no, I, you have two. What are they? Cowboy and an Indian. Fuck that rules. Nice. All right. you can't hate on that. God damn it, it's cool. Damn. <laughs> Dude, when you stand naked before your lover, how do you feel? Like, how do they feel when you when you, you, you to, when you reveal? Do you want the cowboy or the Indian? Yeah, yeah that's what I say. I feel pretty powerful. It's pretty nice. Oh, because you are like kind of a cowboy and an Indian. Yeah, pretty much. Whoa. Do you, did yeah. you get a 23 me? Are you sure? Or did some, did your grandpa lie? Cause that's happened to a lot of people. No, my dad a lot of grandmas, lied. a lot of grandmas. Pocahontas. Lied. We're pretty sure my dad lied about it. We're pretty sure my dad was lied to about it. My mom wants to get a 23 and me, but she doesn't want to upset him. Dude. Everybody lies about being. Well, in Noah, it, yeah. you could get it right now. I don't want we'll to keep it quiet. That would ruin that Indian tattoo. <laughs> it wouldn't. It's still sick. <laughs> True. It's still yeah, sick. It still rules, What's dude. the Indian doing in the, in the tattoo? He's, he has a spear. Throwing it at the cowboy, and the cowboy has a revolver shooting at the Indian. Oh, and wow. your dick's in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're not throwing it at each other. Maybe they're fighting your dong. Maybe your dong is like cowboys and aliens. You ever see that? I have Maybe seen it's that. Maybe an, an alien creature they've never seen. Maybe they're fighting for, for my dong. True. Well, it's your tattoo. You can interpret it how you feel. But Dude, that's <laughs> fucking sick, dude. How do girls feel about Thank that you. when you're naked and you're just like, what's good? My girlfriend likes it. Does she really? Yeah. She I could use a good which, distraction. Like have you that. ever jizzed? <laughs> have you ever jizzed on either the cowboy or the Indian? Or which side would you jizz on if you had to? I mean, it's pretty tough to jizz on your thighs, but yeah, I'm sure I have at one point. But like, my dick like leans to the right. So your dick, probably your on dick the right. likes the cowboy. Yeah, dick likes oh, cowboy. Wow. Damn, if you jizzed on the Indian, it would just smear it across his face. Like, <laughs> True. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just going to battle. That's what, that's a nice. sick tattoo. Do you have any cool tattoos, Sean? No tattoos. Nice. I respect that as well. That's the way to be. You don't have any, do you? Yeah, I got. Um, what do you got? Bad, bad tattoo on my. Yeah, what do you have? <laughs> yeah, I got? got a bad tattoo on my chest. Well, let's see. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> do you want to see it? Yeah, yeah. please. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Seize the day. Yeah, dude. I know. That's great. I know. 
I know. <sighs> yeah, it's horrific. That thing's sick, dude. I, I, at the time, I was like, oh, I know. Dude. Oh, yeah? What do you want to talk about? <laughs> Something about, what's, there's a <laughs> snake? Snake in the desert, bro. Snake in the desert? Snake in the desert. Don't tread on me. Try <laughs> to get covered. Couldn't don't... cover those words. They was it? Right don't tread on me? And you got Shit. a cover up of the desert? Yeah, um, yeah. You covered up in sand, like? Yeah, I try to just dust some sand over. I just went to a place and I was like, just cover it. And they're like, we'll do a thing. I'm like, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. And then it was just a cartoonish desert sunset. So wow. I have a... Were you excited about it at first? Were you like, the oh, tattoo? nice. The, the desert when they tried to cover it up. Or were you instantly As soon as like, I saw it, fuck. I went, fuck. Wow. Yeah. That was, again, that was just a lesson in uh, not thinking things through. <laughs> Pretty serious lesson. Two in a row. I yeah. didn't think the first tattoo the through. Reckless. I'm like, oh, dude, I woke up the next morning. Once. I'm like, fuck. I, I hate this. Immediately, I'm like, I don't like this. Then like two months later, I'm like, whatever. Just put something on it. It's covered up. And then I look, yeah. I'm like, ah, fuck. I should have planned that out. Wow. And now it's like. Now you know, it's great. I could get it. Yeah, exactly. Brittany's like, I'm always like, I always like when I'm, I'm in the uh, swim lessons with Maya, I'm like, I forget I have this fucking insane tattoo on my arm. And I don't really care, but I'm also like. She's like, well, just get it covered up. I'm like, no. I can't, dude. It's a piece of history, bro. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a piece is. of history. It's good to let – it's also a good warning sign for the other dads at the pool. I mean, dude. Like, legit don't – this guy is capable of retarded choices. <laughs> it's yeah, he true. May, he may be willing to risk it all right now. That's true, though. I, I kind of stand by it, man. It, it is. It is weird coming in contact with other, like uh, – I mean, the dudes in swim class have been pretty cool. But the uh, – <laughs> Dude, I, I walk by. There's a park near my house, and I, I was talking to – I think to my – yeah, I was talking to my brother about this recently. Like, dude, I, I've seen – and it was funny because he brought it to my attention. This was something I thought only I noticed. I've seen a lot of, like, uh, young, publicly overwhelmed dads at, like, parks. And it's – dude, it's the fucking worst. You told me about these guys. Oh, my The liberal God. dads. It's li they are. They're low-T liberal dads, dude. And yeah. it's like – you talked about this before. Like, that would suck. Have an MSNBC dad? Dude, it's like at least I dealt with the problems of having a high-T dad. Which it kind of ruled like if you think yeah. about it, because it's like you know, fucking they just like love beer and they might something they might get pissed and fucking jack you up. But having a dad just being like, <laughs> yeah. real, I can't even. I'd be like, ah, oh, oh. fuck, dude, fucking jack me up, dude. Can you imagine Hit your me, bro. dad, your dad on Twitter? Oh, this yeah, is like, this funny. Is this dad, funny, son? If my dad tried to educate me in anything, I would just like, it's like a, give yeah. me a shivers. Yeah, having like, a dad that doesn't it, think you know? Twitter's gay would be tough, dude. Like, yeah. Actually, my what? dad did try Twitter. Did he really? Yeah, remember that? <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah, he did. He what tweeted did he... at one of his high school girl <laughs> female players. <laughs> she, it was like, she went to college. He coaches yeah. girls basketball. Very <laughs> high T. Very high T. Okay. It's the highest yeah. T possible. It's on the board. Dangerously <laughs> high T. <tea. laughs> but he, uh, one of the girls went to college and she tweeted like a picture of her dog and was like, I'll miss you. And my dad had no idea what Twitter was yeah. or how it worked. So he thought she was tweeting that at him. Oh, yeah. He was like, I'll miss you too. <laughs> he just thought it was his inbox. Yeah. He like, thought someone slid in his yeah. DMs, dude. Yeah. And he, <laughs> and he was like, oh, well, that's weird, but <laughs> Not only rude. Right, I guess I miss you too. Oh, it's probably, probably four vodka sodas deep, dude. Mm. Oh, she was great. She was good. I'm going to miss her. <laughs> She's a good girl. Just she turning down girl. fucking uh, Fox for two seconds. Like, I got to come up with something good. <laughs> yes, you too. Damn, if Phil started tweeting jokes, that would be the oh, best. Oh, dude, that'd be awesome. Oh, you got to so get him good. back on Twitter. He's been on my ass for this mustache. What about it? What do you think? He wants you to shave it up? Yeah. What's his problem? He's like, what's this? What's this little... What's yeah. that on your yeah, lips? They get, they get, dads get whacked, they get man. They get so mad. If you wear like a new thing or something, it he fucks them up. He fucking hates my tracksuit. What's his problem? <laughs> hates it. What's his problem? He's like, what the fuck? What are you doing? What yeah, you I don't know. He doesn't know exactly. I don't think he understands exactly what his <laughs> problem is. But if he sees his son in a totally matching outfit, he's like, what's going on here? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Yeah. What are you doing? He's yeah, just dude. sitting there doing a Sudoku. Now imagine if you had a dad who was like, and then he showed up the next day and he's wearing the exact same thing. Oh. Like, I'd be like, oh, fuck. True. Dude, you walk like, by these guys and they're like, Skylar, could you not? Oh, and they like pull their phone back out and they're like, <laughs> Oh my like, God. Dude, what the fuck? I'm like, you, oh man, I can't wait till Maya can like walk and move around, dude. Show that's, you how to yell at a kid. Yeah, man. I might fucking grip their kids up and be like, look, your dad's a fucking pussy. Yeah. I'm gonna, gonna help fuck you. you up. Oh my god, that's that that's hurting me. To it's hear. dude, it's you like I'm just walking. Stop. I'm walking my dog. Like really? I'm like, oh, this oh, is what we're doing. This is what we're doing today. Yeah, dude, oh my god, it's tough, dude. <laughs> Maybe it's, they're just gay. What no, are, I'm they're adopting. You, what are the kids? Even I'm telling you, like pissing their pants and they're like, oh no, really? They're just like, You're gonna piss come, your pants. Like, <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Great. Yeah, like trusting. 
trust in, please, yeah. or whatever. Like, yeah. tr- trust in, I'm not going to say River. it again. Yeah. <laughs> River. Liverpool. <Yeah>. Carpe diem. <laughs> oh, Carpe. <shit. laughs> CD. And I've seen enough of them. My brother was like, because I, I like walk by it with my dogs. And I'm always like, what the fucker? And then mm. my brother was at Sky Zone. And he said there are a bunch of them there, not hitting the tramp, trying to act too cool for it. And he was just like, dude, they were just all like, oh. And he's like, dude, I'm on the tramp going sky high. I mean, I would be too cool for the tramp. I'd be going sky high. I bro. can't be seen on a What's tramp. What's one thing dude? to like chill on the sideline? He said these dudes were just kind of like sour pussing. It's like, yeah, bro, you gotta be, she got to be fucking like. They're kind of acting the way I would act when my mom would take me to the mall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, yeah, exactly. or like your lady, a lady takes you to the room. Like you're like, she's no, in the dressing room. You sit in the chair, just like. Oh, can't believe I'm at the mall. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm at the mall. Yeah, it's like don't go, dude. I told you, I, I'm I'm nuts, dude. I went to the mall I, again. Did you go? I went yesterday. How did you go in? I was in for four minutes. What, dude? I can't. I don't know what's going on. Why you go to the mall? And I have leave? fucked. What? Something's fucked up. You need to buy mentally. something, and you can't. No, I I I like just drive to the mall. <laughs> and then I get out and go into the mall <laughs> and I get there and I'm like, I don't, I hate it in here. And I do it every time I'm home. But you, you think you need something or you I just don't like, even really, I'm like, like I'm going to go like, look for, like, it's, it's just it's like a subconscious oh, thing. Hang. Just, no, it's, it's not like I'm waking up there, but it is. <laughs> you zone it. It kind of is. It's like, I, Come I, I can't, like I was talking to Matt on the phone while I was like, I'm in the mall parking lot. And I was like, yeah. I'm something's wrong. Like I'm going to go in and not buy anything. Yeah. And that's exactly what I did. I walked in. I get uncomfortable in there. You really? <laughs> I thought that was your stomach. I was a burp. I was, I was like, just yes, a burp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big burp. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to delve into this much further now. That's now what that I'm realizing. I sound like a but fucking no, lunatic. But, no, dude. Well, I, I do the same thing, but I go for something, and then I don't. Well, find I, kinda, it. I yeah. don't find it a it's minute like in, and go. Yeah. I, I'll just fucking. I'm not cutting it. I'm just yeah. not gonna cut out. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go in. I'll be like, I'm gonna take a look at the sneakers or the shoes, see if there's anything cool. Yeah. Then I'll look for the track suits. And then it's all, it, I, I'm like, I can't buy this. I can't. Yeah, you're second guessing yourself. And then yourself, I leave dude. immediately. You're second guessing yourself. Well, well the track the suits these days you, are, yeah, I'm wearing the, I, That's I why have, you've been wearing the same track suit. I've been wearing this track suit for a week straight. <laughs> <laughs> I've washed it twice. <laughs> What's it's crazy. That? It's crazy. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. It is, but yeah, but very people, people are starting to notice. People are like, you wear that. Tra- so what? The, Steve my Jobs, lover, the, my lover that I've been seeing has been noticing. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a big. They'll, they'll start to. She's like, do you ever <laughs> change? You know, like, this is it. That's my dad's favorite line. <laughs> I'm locked in. He says people look like a cartoon character. Like you have yeah. the same thing on every time. Yeah. Damn, dude. So what are you going to get? Just different multicolored tracks? Different colored this. You got to start mixing and matching. I know. that's. I, I saw one of the mannequins that was mixing and matching and I thought it was pretty cool. Nike tracksuits are all like windbreaker mm. fabric and like pastel colored. Get it, I can't. I can't be. Get four pairs of jeans and five t-shirts. I have one pair of jeans. Get four. You gotta. That's dude. You gotta get four more. I was always like that too. Huh? I was always like that too. I was always like. I was like. I have plenty of jeans. I was like. I, I remember to Brittany. I was like four pair of jeans. I remember to Brittany. I was like Brittany, big big money over here. <laughs> Patreon money is fucking I'm coming you, in, dude. Now. I I I had this weird thing. I still have this thing in my head where like I won't buy socks either. I got dude, yesterday. Socks are I, yesterday up. I looked at the socks and I was like, I need these. Yeah, couldn't buy them. Dude, I had the same thing. I wouldn't buy socks. I can't buy, buy anything. It's crazy, dude. I wouldn't, can't buy anything. Wouldn't buy socks. Wouldn't buy underwear. Brittany was like, you need jeans. I'm like, I have two pairs of jeans. What are you talking about? She's like, dude, you need like four pairs of jeans. No, five pairs, dude. Three. You need two. I'll, I'll give you two. I'll give you three. I've been rocking one for one is fine. But thankfully, quarantine took place, so I've had to just I have like three different pair of these Adidas track pants. That's pretty tight. So that's all I dude. I have hmm. four pairs of jeans and I, I just buy just solid color t shirts and I have I wear the same exact thing. I'm a Sims I'm I go full Sims character. Yeah. Four pairs of jeans, like six t shirts, and that's my laundry cycle. And then I obviously, you know, supplement with heavy amounts of sweatpants. This girl, my, my the lover I've been seeing at like I had went out to dinner with her and I was like, I don't have she She'll like, buy you. Them. Go out to She'll dinner. buy you them. I should no. That's I'm how I have four no, pairs of jeans. She cannot. She will not be purchasing me. Why? Bays. I've buy had Bays try to buy me clothes, uh, and it's the gayest shit possible. Well, it's true. Like, you should get into wearing sweaters and shit like that. I'm like, mm. no. You gotta never yeah, once. You, you gotta yeah. reject. I I had some rough garments sent my way, so you gotta yeah. reject them. And eventually, like you know, I have four. That's why I have four pairs of jeans. Basically, my mom does that every Christmas. Your mom gets you some good stuff, dude. She does not. Those shoes, you, those the Notre Dame shoes, shoes rule. They're sick as fuck. That was the best gift, and I, yeah, that was the best. What gift. other gear she got you that you? She'll want to get throw? me. She, she'll just be like, please wear a button down once. 
She's like, you'd look so nice in it. Just wear it once. I'm like, I'm going to. You got to wear it. I just have a closet mom, full of sweaters and button downs. You got to put it off your. I love getting funnies. dressed up for my mom. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sweater vest and shit. Calm down like quail man, dude. <laughs> Yeah, my mommy. My mommy Chris wants me to. My, mommy, my mommy wants me to wear like a polo. Get so sharp bad. for your mommy, dude. I can't. I love getting sharp for my mommy, dude. Put I need on a to sweater be... on an important day. Mm. You got to start recognizing holy days, dude. I recognize them. It's part. It's <laughs> as a, God intends. It's, 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 it's a disregarded spiritual practice. I recognize practice. them in tracksuits and sweatpants. That's and fine. Yeah. Maybe dungarees and a sweatshirt. You should wear a simple rough garment on holy days. <laughs> 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 dungarees, hoodie. Sneakers, that's a going out outfit. That's literally my best. Like yeah. when we went to dinner, that's what I wore. Yeah, and it was a, like a nice dinner to meet her sister. Yeah, that's a fight for Brittany. Brittany will be like, What a what a dungarees? Jeans. jeans. Just jeans? Okay. Yeah. Blue jeans. Yeah. Blue jeans. Nice. Blue jeans. Denim. <laughs> yeah. Denim. Denim, yeah. <laughs> Wait, denim. You, you don't say denim? Denim. We say dung we say jeans. Well, yeah, dungarees. Jeans. Dungaree. Jeans. I thought dungarees were like Overalls, overalls or overalls. something, you know, it's the ones that like, like a fucking trust me, dude. We know like all a, about jeans, we like, invented them. <laughs> <laughs> our country, so our people them. could work longer in the fields. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's why you did it. That's why you did it. Nah, -uh. you talking yeah. about Irish slaves it was for miners, was it? Yeah, oh, are you talking about Irish slaves? What time to talk about there is just <laughs> it's there's a rumor, gave, rumor went around that we weren't slaves. You think they gave slaves jeans? I think so, yeah. No, nah, dude. no, no, what they give them. Nothing. I don't know. Just fucking. I, I think. You, yeah, I think you make got, your like, own shit out there. I think you got some old thin slacks. Yeah. I also. Uh, George Washington slaves got one pair of shoes a year. Really? Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> they probably weren't the best, dude. They're probably no, they like weren't. leprechaun. They weren't. They were mm. leprechaun shoes. Yeah, well, I yeah. Saying, I figured. Yeah. Just shitty. Yeah. Bostonians. Dude. Actually, that's exactly what the slave was wearing when he talked to me. Leprechaun shoes. He dressed like the Notre Dame fighting Irish. <laughs> yeah, really? yeah, he had like coattails. Dude. <laughs> For real. It was the exact same hat. He was like, oh, Lord, where are you from? I was like, uh, New York. He was like, I heard people are awfully nice up that way. I was like, ah, that's, that's changed. I thought it was funny. It's like, what did he say? He didn't respond. He yeah, thought, yeah. he asked if my pants were from the future. Oh, and I was wow. like, they are. Whoa, dude. You yeah, should, that's kind of I took out his phone. And beat his, I should have took out his phone and blew his mind. <laughs> That'd be you awesome. trying to fuck me, dude? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know how things were back then, but you better not be trying to fuck me, <laughs> Martha. She yelled for Martha. Fuck, dude. She's like Martha, one's out. <laughs> dude, what would you wear if you could just like not worry about anything, just wear whatever? What would your gear be? Okay. For nice. real. That's what's up. That's what you should wear then. Yeah. I mean, I sometimes I feel self-conscious about wearing this. Really? Like, I'll be like, what the fuck am I doing? But then I got to remind myself, like, fuck everybody. Dude, if wear I... Wear a tracksuit everywhere. If I could wear... I thought about this today. If I could wear anything without, like, fear of being like, people, what the fuck are you doing? I genuinely would dress like a 50-year-old black dude at a summer cookout. Just, like, matching linens. Oh, like, yeah, Easter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matching linens. Like, just a suit. You dress like a Waterloo can. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go more. I'm more white on white. I would go like white linens, white pants, and then just like a match. Did you tangle. get married in white on white? It, pretty much, dude. Did you? I have the nice. desire to wear all white. Con you I, wore all white. You wedding? Yeah, bro. That's sick. To my first wedding, first but wedding, we don't bro. even fucking talk about that. We, we've talked. I mean, about we talked about, about it pretty consistently. We talked about it but extensively. Yeah. What white I'm shoes? saying is, huh? White shoes? Of course, bro. Okay. Don't even ask about it. Yeah, dude. I had a fucking first communion outfit. <laughs> 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 yeah dude i, I nice. love like i'm wearing a white tee under this right now and i'm like if only i could just wear just white on i basically would wear white on white white pants white tee that's that's like i'd like to wear jerseys dude i would be happy if i could wear like you thro look good throwbacks in a you look good in a jersey dude mm. maybe i would like to wear jerseys now that you now that you mention it Dude, if you start throwing <laughs> maybe dude, i would like some just jerseys wore, you just wore some football jerseys <laughs> yeah that's good gear yeah that's real good gear. Football jerseys with a thermal underneath them in the winter. Yes. Basketball tee with a white t-shirt underneath it past the elbow. Dude, you said <laughs> oh, it. Oh, fuck. I forgot my shirt. I, I got a fucking, I bought a new 3-6 Mafia shirt. What'd you get? I could have. At the mall? No, I bought it online. What'd you, what is it? The camouflage 3-6 Mafia. And it says hypnotize minds. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sick. It's so sick. 
I was going to buy, there's one that says hypnotize minds and there's one that's three, six mafia. That's I got sick. the three, six with the hypnotize. That's mind. awesome. Your wardrobe, I'll break it out. Your wardrobe I'll break it out. Sick, dude. My wardrobe consists almost entirely of, all right, one pair of jeans, two black t-shirts, and then shirts I buy, like, this will be funny. Yeah. And then I'm like, what the fuck would I ever wear that for? <laughs> like, I have a long sleeve camo three, six mafia shirt that I couldn't even wear it here. The first time it came last week. Yeah, okay, and I had it on, and I was like, I'm going to look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is yeah. my day-to-day, -day, all day. Go Just to the mall. Dude. What the fuck is this? What am I doing here? Leave. Put a shirt on. Like, you look like a fucking idiot. Take it off. Yeah. Put it back on. Take it off. Leave. Yeah, dude. Just let it go. I mean, eventually I let it go, but no, I'm it's saying, constant. Like, just go get your stuff. It's tough. It's tough. I get. Yeah, you. but there was no stuff when I got in there. There's there wasn't, nothing. There, there was wasn't no stuff. Nothing, nothing struck my fancy. I was hoping something would strike my fancy. Oh, you went to the mall. You wanted to be persuaded. I wanted as a good salesman. Gotcha. Instead, another guy <laughs> acting like a slave came up. <laughs> <laughs> the reenactors well, are everywhere. What are you looking for? In Target. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. That's a. Uh, it's something. I'm telling you. I used to have a white tracksuit when I was younger. Was, Did you really? Was, yeah, I was sick. I wore it to school one time. When we were like, I had like a letter because from my mom saying I didn't have to wear clothes that day for some reason. So <laughs> didn't wear a white uniform? Tracksuit. No, so I was like a fucking big Do you have white. an injury? Like if you had like real bad poison no. ivy, you could wear like whatever you wanted. Wear oh, shorts. My brother wore shorts no, for like a month because <laughs> he had <laughs> fucked up poison sumac. There used to be stuff like if you were going somewhere after school. You could wear your white. We had a uniform. Yeah, yeah, we, so, we so had uniforms. I don't know. It was some bullshit excuse, and I showed That's up. That's great. And, my, and one of my teachers was like, "You look like a fucking pimp." And I was just like, "Yeah." And she was like, "I didn't mean it in a nice way." Like, I'm just like, I thought it was like the cool. I'm the I mean, tracksuits are cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, teacher, the only thing you're dealing, you're dealing with I mean, stains. They hold up. The thing with the white one, the white stuff, you're dealing with stains. Though. Yeah. So no, you wear a, a stained white tracksuit. Just keep oh pushing. Oh my god, no. dude! If this thing was white, <laughs> no, this thing are you kidding me? Like dirty sleeves, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like dirt. <laughs> no, dude, yeah. I. Uh, that's teachers are fucking assholes, dude. For that re for like just coming at you like that, mm. that's fucked up. I'd love to go back in time and just be like, yeah, you fucking want to suck my thirteen-year-old dick, yes. don't you? Don't you should have said that, dude. <laughs> that's why I think she did. I think she was. She's like, you're 12. That. Be like, whatever, dude. Don't get hung up on it. Damn, I'm imagine like, if she did think I you were hot 13. and then you showed up in that tracksuit. She oh. like, oh. <laughs> She's just like, <laughs> P-I-P. <Yeah. laughs> oh. It's got so much swagger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, the boys, Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> the boy's got swagger. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. He's oh. going to be a good one. He's going to get out of this yeah, island. Yeah, oh. yeah. Go to America. You're a dreamer. <laughs> Carpe diem. <laughs> Hollywood when did you get that back in Ireland when you were like it's time for me I got to it. follow my destiny I got it when I was 18 in an island off Spain I can't remember I think it was Lanzarote or something like that some fucking shithole and uh, I remember getting it the worst thing is it wasn't like an impulse dude thing. isn't that it crazy was like a... everybody from the UK and Ireland their vacation is just Spain that's fucked up they yeah. go to the beach in Spain yeah yeah it's well, crazy. Well, they just have cheap little islands and cheap beaches, and it's fucking. Yeah. We have New Jersey, dude. Yeah, we have to go yeah. to fucking That's our New Jersey. No, you guys, you guys got to Florida and stuff. It's kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I went to, not when I was young. Florida is more that's like Morocco. Florida is like the Morocco of America. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's but it's, more... it's fucking cheap as fuck. A lot of during COVID, a lot of people just moved to Spain during COVID. Really? From Ireland? That's because you could slap. There's a good bit of slapping. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot. <laughs> I'm considering. I'm gonna go there and just get off a plane, just fucking wreck somebody, and get back on. You can slap women there. Can you really? That was like a big. Stop, I swear to God, when I was teaching the school, that was like we, a major problem. Where was, was like it? Sorry, hitting women. Where in Spain was it? Uh, I was north of Madrid. Okay. Yeah. So it was a pro sorry, it was a major problem was what? Men yeah, the, like the teachers were telling me, like man on woman violence is like a issue. Slap. That's like a current dilemma. Well, it's Spain a slap culture. Facing. Yeah, it's a slap culture. It's yeah. tough, dude. And then one day, one of the <laughs> students' dads culture, beat yeah, his yeah. mom to death. What? <laughs> he had to have like an assembly. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Fuck, man. Real bummer. Well, slaps? He slapped her? Slapped her. Slapped, slapped her to death. death? Yeah. It was a combo. Fuck. Death of a thousand <laughs> slaps, dude. It was a 15 <laughs> combo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a cat. You ever see a cat? <laughs> Play with shit? <laughs> he did that to his wife. It's called Outstanding. Outstanding. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. Dude, I so badly want to disrupt my uh, my babysitter's online classes. She'll like get up and leave, and I'll see the guy, and I just want to 
turn the mic on and be like, shut up, bitch. Oh. <laughs> just send the class. Your babysitter, athlete. is she a college student? Mm-mm. She's in high school. So I want to go, <laughs> dude, tell, dude. How dare you, dude? How dare you? <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing attractive about that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> babysitter, dude. I know, I'm joking. I'm just joshing about your babysitter. But Jeez. she's in high school and you want to get on her online classes? I want to disrupt stuff. real but Whenever she goes upstairs, just hit the mic on and be like, Mr. Turner's a fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah. She would never you get Send the class in a fucking yeah. uproar. No one would blame her, obviously. Well, it's funny because I'll walk by, you know, I'll walk by the background and say, hey, I, I swear to God, I think I locked eyes with the teacher. Because she's probably, the teacher's probably, what the fuck's this? Turn around, just looked in the cam, like, what the fuck are you looking at, bro? Just like, I went to walk my <laughs> dogs. Like, what? But I locked what? eyes, kind of like, like he was, I could tell he was True. like, uh, and he was like this. And I just looked in, like, what the fuck are you looking at, bro? That would be concerning. Well, fuck him. Like, is she with a, is, is that, does she is that live at like boyfriend? a guy's house? Is that her boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, I would be concerned. They, they have to know she's babysitting because Maya's there all the time. But I just let him know, be like, bitch. It's great because yeah. she can. I, well, I mogged him. I just like looked in the thing and was yeah, like, fucking high school teacher. Heard fucking your fucking pussy. lesson, dude. Your lesson fucking sucks. That dude. was when my mom, I had a terrible, terrible morning yesterday. My, I woke up after a nasty dream. I had a bad dream. <laughs> I have a bad dream. I keep listening to this fucking book. Dude. Oh, I gotta tell you that I told you I called that dude. This, fucked me. That was crazy. So this is what I went to bed to. I was I'm I'm listening to a book about the genocide of Ukraine, which was like just Stalin's five year plan, just starving Ukraine, mm-hmm. and it's just an hour and a half of just this chapter in this book is just an hour and a half. How do you of go about starving the entire country. You just take all the food. You just take it from. Happened. Sure. True. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> it's a lot, I, I think it's a lot easier than you think. <laughs> Well, it requires a very weak, dumb populace, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the Ukrainians. <laughs> yeah, not yeah, you guys. Yeah. Not you guys. Uh, uh, so you take the food. I'm just listening to these stories. It's the for, it's, whoever wrote this is just literally telling st- horrific stories. God, like they found mm. the the like students found their classmate's head without his body in the local <laughs> pond, when and its you, family ate the student and killed themselves. When do you like, think they shit. like? When they, do you think they take a break and like have sex? Like if they're married, do they like have sex with their wives? And like, can they get that stuff out of their heads? Like, Being hungry? No, if you're like a, a like if you're like a starvation atrocity historian, and then you like go to like have sex, dude. Yeah, must be tough. You just been yeah. writing all day about like horrible yeah. and from like firsthand account, like primary sources. Yeah. He's like reading it, like hmm, this will go in the book. This is pretty cool. <laughs> just, they ate their children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's just on the computer, right? And they just. Yeah, maybe I'll just. Oh, you know what's funny? I meant to bring this up. That's a good thing. I've been. I have the craziest schedule before bed, which is is listen to war atrocities for a while, (laughs) jerk off, nice, and then go right back to it. Whoa! I can totally disassociate from just complete horrific nightmare stuff to like nice, "Eh, nice uh, audition for uh, you know just (laughs) (laughs) fast forward the talking. Yeah, (laughs) roommate can't pay rent, and then as soon as I'm done. Straight back right, in. Back to this. Right. What are these children eating? Yeah. And you this story, Ukrainian slaughter. <laughs> dude, this story. It's funny. I was like laying in bed, like, you know, when you sleep. I'd be, I sleep on my side with my arm. Up. And, uh, you know, my f- fat face is motionless. While I'm like, <laughs> you're just listening. Uh, listening to just horrible shit. And then this one story I heard oh. was so bad that I was like, <laughs> I just <laughs> found myself in bed, just like, <laughs> it's so funny. But the story was oh. these two ladies, they had an orphanage that was just filled basically with starving children. Yeah. Everyone like bellies bloated, everyone's starving. <laughs> yeah. uh, Chucky no cheese. Dude. <laughs> every, it was absolutely Chucky no cheese, dude. <laughs> Chuck nets off no cheese. <laughs> so for like to like help the kid, I don't know, they would lay out everybody was suffering. All the children were like they couldn't speak. They were that that hungry. They were starving to death. Literally. Yeah. And they would lay them out, these children, out on like a, they said, sheets on the in the grass outside and like let them lay. And they would just constantly be moaning. <laughs> like the teachers could leave and leave the kids out because the kids couldn't move. Yeah. They couldn't mm. And they would just be out there like, uh, a just, uh, yeah. And then the story was that one day they, they left them out. They're probably like smoking cigarettes or something. And they all of a sudden the kids were quiet. So they're like, oh, shit, we got to go check this out. And they went out and the kids were tearing the flesh off of the smallest one and sucking the blood and eating the meat. And the kid was eating his own skin too. Anyway. Wow. 
What a fun story. It was yeah, like a four year old. Wicked, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was just laying there, just like. <laughs> just, oh, just, <laughs> just in bed, just like. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's wow. They had to pull the kids off. They were like yeah. literally like biting and sucking. They the just, blood. one kid just latched onto the other and then, one. And then they all kind of just. Yeah. Rolled yeah, over. Yeah. And then, but the thing that fucked me up the most was the kid was eating himself also. Once everybody else started munching him, he was like, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> so they were, so he was like, give me a bit of that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Of himself. Uh, and they would like eat their own shit. Would they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they would like find kids that have been eating their own shit. Uh, I mean, it's the craziest shit I've ever heard. Yeah, it's yeah. fucked. It's, I mean, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, food is good. It's nice yeah. to have it, man. Yeah, it was, it was like the Irish famine, but like, I mean, now it was much more documented. You know, it was in yeah, the 40s. Yeah. And it was much, much more successful, I think. Too. Yeah, they did <laughs> really a good job. A lot. Yeah, they got a lot of them. Yeah. No one had, was able to even leave. Had, they all just... We had a lot of guys fleeing. Yeah. yeah people were... A lot of weaklings left the island. Became great. True. <laughs> <laughs> Built it up for you to come over. Yeah. Yeah. Now look at you. Yeah. I'm like, like, oh, it seems pretty good over there. I'd like to have a little uh, shot of me, me over there. Give me a taste of that. <laughs> yeah, give me a bit of that. Hey, that's what I've been listening to. And then uh, in between horrific stories, I will Pause. ejaculate. Yeah, do a little self care. Mm. Yes. What do you think of that? Maybe that has something to do I with think me, it's, no. me going to the mall, looking at things. I could be, I could be watching the doc and then just be like, Yeah, oh, man. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know. Just, Normally, anything else, I can't dis like totally just disassociate. Like these are two different things. Yeah. With this, I know that's probably not the right psychology term, but you get what I'm saying. Pretty much, yeah. I can hit pause on this. Crank. Play. Yeah. Anyway. I think that's pretty... I thought that was an interesting tidbit. No, I think people can do that. Yeah. I can. Watching a fucked up horrible thing. Is... No problem. Yeah, turn it off. Jerk off. <laughs> Zero problem. It's almost an understandable <laughs> thing to do after that. It's like when I can't sleep at night, you know. When I'm when all the bats are floating around my head, mm -hmm. I just go jerk off. It's evil bat. Yeah, it's you just go, you just get up. <laughs> get up. That's what I have to do. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm just... I want to get some milk in the kitchen. Like, I mean, Where are you going? Oh, you got to do a secret one. I'm about one. to jizz. I'm a, I, no, yeah. fuck me. He's like, I'm, I'm not going to go to the kitchen. I'm going to jerk off. <laughs> I'd rather wipe yeah. it with the kitchen towel. so much harder to fuck you. Yeah. Wait, just, well, I'll be out of breath. Yeah. yeah no, it's, a, it's a big... True, yeah. It's tough. To, well, you want to slide in, just have like a nice casual I, one. You don't want to wake someone up. To what about just some me time? Like, poorly, you know? Yeah. Dude, it's nighttime. Yeah. Sometimes you say you don't want to wake someone up to that. I don't. Want, no, I don't want to wake someone up. Wait, and so you're saying fuck them poorly. You'll get oh, the yeah. offer. Send them back to bed. You know. You'll yeah. get the offer to be like, just fuck me then. She knows when you're getting milk, you're just. Yeah, but I just feel like udders. I just feel like it's like just so clinical or something. I'd rather be true. I'd rather them just, be into it, not I, them kind of. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather. Watch although I can appreciate hot. that if yeah, I'm, if I'm, yeah, if I'm like yo, like a good clinical. Yeah, but if, just, if I say I, I'm, I gotta get up, this out. Yeah, they're like I'm backed up, and they're just like, dude, just get it over with. I can, yeah. I can party with that big time. Just be like, thank you. Yeah, get mm -hmm. me going. I might Appreciate pause it. this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking like that. I used to worry, be be like, well, this no, is... I want us both to enjoy. Now I'm like, say no more, bro. Let's go. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've gotten it way out of my head that she's gonna even remotely enjoy this. I've that ship has sailed. Well, yeah, it's oh, not. Yeah. I'm not even worried about her enjoying it. Yeah, it's not something for you know. It's not for ladies. Only whores enjoy sex. True. Yeah, or you should just get into like you should get into <laughs> you like fully. That you should get into the best sex I've ever had is a horse. Yeah, you've sure. had sex with horse. Well, I mean, like in the biblical sense. Oh, I, I guess. see. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, you should uh, start getting into just like tantric love, where you're just like, look, I mean, tantric. do you need to come like that? I'm not really into that. Yeah, like and just yeah, just have sex and just chill. So, so it's tantric sex, but only yeah. for her. Is that what no, that you means? just chill. You just, yeah, my. Tantric my lover, she is practicing tantra pretty hard. <laughs> really? Yes. What's that mean? She, so, I mean she's, she's just holding in every orgasm. <laughs> that what it is? You got this bitch. Someday she might, but for now, yeah, that's a bit of a rain check. You know, yeah, my, girl, my girl's frigid. Did you see the quote? I, did you see the thing I sent you from the audiobook? Yes. Of the guy coming. It's not. I was even with you. her. Were you really? Yeah. How'd she like it? Uh, I think I held it up to my ear while we were watching something. Oh, dude. And she was like, "What's that?" And she just saw like the book cover, and I was like, "Nothing." That's fucking retarded what is it you're watching like the quote, yeah, what was it? i sent shane a quote of i should actually i think i have it here, here still definitely oh shit that was a camera soldier what's wrong, bud? dub d hit me up actually i'll, I'll call him Where back. you get those ray-bans there these i had those i bought them down in florida way oh nice oh shit dub d's here <laughs> no can you let a dub d in hopefully they didn't leave he seems like a guy who doesn't mind lingering on the street dub d He's got stuff to do, dude. I can see him clocking on the street. Man, he might, yeah, he might be posted up for so, sure. I'm trying to find the thing I sent you. It would, you know. Just go to our messages. 
That's what I'm what talking a, about. Uh, Click info. There's a bunch of flag, like flag oh, yeah. poles or something, like poles painted in uh, some sort of nationality's color. What is that out there? Where is that? Just outside the oh. house. There's a bunch of paintings representing some flag. I, I, thought, I thought it was like Cameroon. It looks no, like the Cameroon Rico. colors. It's Puerto, Rico. Like, it's Puerto Rico? Yeah. Red, yellow, and green, maybe, was it? Uh, maybe it's something else. Something like that. There's like, a garden across the street. They got all, they Cameroon, all, kind, yeah, they got all kinds of funny colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cameroon like that. The red, yellow, and green is very popular among uh, Western African nations. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they got a bunch of funny funny flag colors. Ghana's I, all I know is red, white, blue. What? All right. Left. All right, well, where are we at? Let's... Uh, Men especially. Sexual excitation and orgasmic pleasure are primarily a genital sensation. As one gets freer, the locale of the orgasm begins to expand and spread to the whole pelvis and abdomen, the legs and arms, now and eventually the whole body. Yeah, Often, if you can guess, this may be this mad. After this accomplishment, <laughs> there is a plateau that follows, and then suddenly and unexpectedly, the orgasmic location expands beyond the body as though the space around the body was having the orgasm instead of the person. Ultimately, there is no limitation of the orgasm. It seems to expand into infinity and be experienced from no particular center or locale. It is as if there is no individual person present. The orgasm is experiencing itself. That's how I call him, dude. Yeah? I'm, it's he's, just a space around he, me is coming, and I'm just sitting trans- there just like... He has many times before finding that passage explained that when he comes, he does leave his body. You an out-of-body experience? Yeah. I'm definitely... I stay no. in. In no. fact, I crash to reality. Yeah. Even during my, the orgasm. My, my body tries to go there, but then there's a part of me that just goes, no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. You get held back. I, I hold back completely. Same, that's Absolutely. St. Ignatius. <laughs> I dude, I I totally leave when I crumb. It's like I'm smoking DMT for you, is it? You just fuck it for like point one seconds. <laughs> it's right just a, a mess on your chest. <laughs> you just come out. My orgasm experiences itself. <laughs> just so you know. No, you, I'm, what I'm saying is the whole point of that chapter is that you you just completely let go of all expectations during sex, and you just you just like it actually. I've done that. Yeah. The thing you're saying, you're like genuinely, where you're not even like, because a lot of times your face is kind of grimaced. Yeah. And you kind of just like fully relax and just you know just look at the person and like just keep a keep a poker face, not a poker face, but just like love you, babe, just as calm as you can be. And eventually, you'll, <laughs> the room will start coming around both you guys, and you're like, ah. so you're saying if I'm about to come, I need to just be like. I mean, I mean that's what I do. Don't call. <laughs> that is what I do, and then I laugh. I come, and then I go, oh my god, I'm sorry, and I laugh, and then I get in the shower. Nice. <laughs> And you I gotta get in watch the shower. It. I'm like, stupid. You're so <laughs> fucking stupid. You're like, yeah, what I'm are you doing? The, I'm getting a shower, Tuts. And yeah. then as soon as you walk away, you go, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> I come and I immediately go down on her. I'm like, oh, get out of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give me that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna suck it right back out of you. Well, dude, let's uh, let's grab Dub D. Uh, yes, call him. It's been a pleasure, what's your, dude. What's your podcast? Oh, you can check it out. The, check wi- it out. the Wizard of Pod. Wizard okay. of Pod there. Everywhere. For my YouTube channel. I'm going to do it soon. Call we him, Terrell. I was going to yeah. do it with you this week, but... You're a busy boy. I've been a vagabond. I haven't even come home. I've been yeah. Living out of the tracks. Yeah, well, next time you got a spirit... Yeah, spirit next time I'm evening in up in New York. Yeah. Absolutely. And you did it with Matthew as well. Yeah. Already. Matthew. There's already a mad episode. Yeah, there's a mad episode. Go check out the mad episode. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. Wizard oh, yeah. of Pod. That's the name of it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Thanks. What do you have? I forgot I got to play. Uh, Stoner Dad should be out this weekend. Oh, nice. I decided we were, you know, I was treating it very, I was being very secretive about it. Just yeah, that thought makes... that was funny. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely stupid. Obviously, you should advertise it on this podcast. I was like the government uh, with UFOs. I denied yeah. it existence. Now I'm like, they're real. Yeah. It's Stoner real. Dad's is coming out. And that's you, Sydney, and Tim Butterly's podcast, Stoner Dad. Comes out once a month or so. Check it out. Um, March 18th, 19th, and 20th, I'll be at Helium, <sighs> Indianapolis. Ooh. March 26th and 27th, I'll be at the Crown of Comedy in Auburn, Alabama. That's the one you want to go see. And uh, then we're going to take a little break because we're going to be filming some new sketchies Ooh. for Gillian Keeves. So that'll be fun. Hell yeah. Uh, Colm, I appreciate you joining us yeah, today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks Blast, for coming dude. down. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Appreciate it, bro. Hell yeah.